to today the importance of Eid. In our Eid, we have more fun than that. They cannot even match us. So we should never feel like, oh man, they have fun with us. Actually, we need to make fun in our Eid. That's all. Okay? So, the non-Muslims have also their, their calendars. No problem. Can we use Shem? Yeah, no problem. We can use January, February. No problem. But we should not forget our Islamic calendar. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He tells us to go to Hajj, He doesn't tell us to go in January or February. He says to go when? In Dhul Hijjah. Remember, Hajj, Dhul Hijjah. Oh, I see. So the Ibadah of Hajj, which is pillar of Islam, falls when? In that month called Dhul Hijjah. Oh, okay, same name. Hajj, Hijjah. Hajj, Dhul Hijjah. Clear? Okay. When Allah tells us to fast, he tells us to fast the month of January or March. Ramadan. Um, very good. So we have our own month. Very good. When we book up was uh, when we celebrate Ramadan, in which month? 25th or 27th of or 25th of December? Which which day? First, Satu. Satu I see. Ashura. Fasting the day of Ashura, Rasulullah said, Allah will forgive you one year of sins. Whatever you did last year, if you fast one day, which is the 10th of Muharram, Allah erase all your sins. That day is 10th of Muharram. Next month, 10th day. This month is Dhul Hijjah. Next month is Muharram. I see. So parents need to use these uh, this, uh, months with the children. Because when Allah asks us to do that, he doesn't, he doesn't mean Gregorian or Chinese or, or uh, Jewish calendar. He means Islamic calendar. So we need to know Islamic calendar. Who can repeat for us the 12 months? Who thinks he can? Yeah, very good. You? Bismillah. What's your name? Mikael. Go ahead. Tell us the 12 months. Today is the third. So 
today is Sunday. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday was the first, Saturday second, today is third, tomorrow inshallah five, Tuesday fifth, six, seven, after Thursday cards, very good, and after Friday cards, Saturday, and after Saturday, Saturday, whoa, okay, these ten days, which started last Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are already here. They are the best ten days of the whole year. Should I thought Ramadan? No. Ramadan is the best month of the year. The whole month is good. I'm talking about days. The best ten days of your life are these. If you do any good deed today, <clears throat> or from already three days are passing, seven more days to come, do as much good as you can. Like what Shia Subir? Pray a lot. Make wudu properly. Pray properly. Have kushur. Give sadaqah. Help your parents. Don't fight among yourselves as brothers and sisters. Uh, listen to your mom. Listen to your dad. Be polite. Uh, give sadaqah. Whatever good you can do. Rasulullah sallallahu said, no one can match any deed that a Muslim does in these ten days. They said, Ya Rasulullah, Sahaba said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, even jihad, even if somebody goes and fight for Allah's sake, he said, even jihad is less than, let's say, sadaqa in this month. Charity, you give charity. Except a man who, gone, who has gone to jihad with his money, and didn't come back. Meaning he died shame. That's the only one you cannot beat. You can never beat. Oh, so Sheikh, if I pray Doha, just to like ask Doha. If I have my mom wash dishes, clean this, clean that. <clears throat> if I have my sister, if I iron, if I do things at home, if I water the plants. So anything you do, good, Allah will so, He will reward you so much because of these ten days. Why? Because they are called the ten days of not Arafah of Zulijah. of Zulijah. Hajj. These ten days of Hajj. These, these are the ten days when people go to Hajj. Today we have Uncle Emery. Remember him? He's going today. So tonight he will be there. He does his Umrah. Then rest. Then on the eighth, so the eighth day of Dhul Hijjah is the day, the first day of Hajj. So this is the first day of Hajj. Literally. Then this one is very, very important. Remember it. Saturday, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The night is called the day of Arafah. What is Arafah? This is the day of Hajj. Among all these ten days, the most important is number nine. Sabila. They are all important. But which one shape is like superior day? The night. Which coincides with next Saturday, coming Saturday, inshallah. Coming Saturday is the big day. How big, Shaykh? How important? Children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on that day, He comes down to the sky, to this sky. Shaykh, how does He come? We don't know. The Prophet told us He comes down, He comes down. It's not our job. So He comes down to the first sky. And it's the only day Daylight, he comes down. Every night he comes down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember children, 
every night Allah comes down to the first sky at 3 p.m. from 3 p.m. almost until Fajr and he tells people is there anyone a.m. sorry at 3 a.m. until Fajr and he says to people is, is there any sinner who wants to repent did anyone do dosa he wants to ask me forgiveness I forgive him or her if you are praying to Allah Allah forgives you is there anyone sick he needs me to cure him Allah knows but you have to ask Allah knows you are there and you are sick but he wants you to say ya Allah please give me shifa ya Allah give me hidayah is there any misguided someone wants to be guided so I guide him to Islam so those who are praying they get what they want but only one day only one day a year he comes down during daytime which day is that the day of Arafah and he calls the angels do you remember when you called me and said ya Allah why you want to create human being remember there was story of when Allah wanted to create Adam the angels said ya Allah why you want to create another creation aren't we doing enough to worship you he said I know what you don't I know what you don't know so Allah calls them and reminds them this is why I created the humans on that Mount Arafah is full of humans only once a year the biggest congregation of humans on earth they come for Allah from all over the world from Malaysia Indonesia South Africa South America North America Europe as far as <coughs> Japan and, and Australia and New Zealand they come to worship Allah in his house in his land called Arafah the word Arafah means to know then you will know who you are when you go to Arafah you know who you are you are the slave of Allah you are the slave of Allah like giving you a chance to realize that <coughs> so you see people standing and and making dua to Allah to forgive them and Allah will forgive them definitely Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said anyone who goes to Arafah and ask Allah for forgiveness Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will forgive or forgiven you have to believe that if you don't believe that Allah will never forgive you if you ever go there and say oh you know, I did so many terrible things in my life I don't think Allah will forgive me you're wrong the fact that he allowed you to come to Arafah means he wants to forgive you remember that like you the fact he allow you to come to my class it means he wants to teach you huh? so that night is very important day on that day we those who are not in Hajj like you and me are we in Hajj no. are we going tomorrow no. or tonight no. maybe one of you will fly maybe one of you turn Superman and goes <laughs> <coughs> wearing white white superman we connect with Arafah oh how to connect Shay? we fast those people are left their homes their money their business this is and they are with Allah there to worship him we Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said those who are not in Arafah he said fast what do we do on this day children we fast fasting so when we fast look what happens Allah says to the Prophet tell them tell the Muslims of Muhammad وسلم, that whoever fast this day which is the night next Saturday inshallah Allah will forgive him the sins of one year past and one year to come huh? fasting for one day can we fast only Saturday by itself yes because it's Arafah, not because it's Saturday. If Arafah fell on Sunday or Monday or any other day, we fast it. Sheikh, can I fast only Saturday? Yes, yes, yes. And don't ask me again. Because it is, you are not fasting Saturday, you are fasting? Arafah. Arafah, very good. 
Clear? Now what's the reward? One year of sins forgiven and one year to come forgiven. So 2019 forgiven, 2020 already forgiven. But Ashura, only one day, uh, one year. The 10th of Muharram, Allah forgives you only one year past. So Arafah is more important. Try to fast, children. Just like Ramadan. Ramadan 30 days and they fast and you didn't die. Arafah is only one day. Huh? Parents, encourage your children to do that. Encourage them. Pahala, Allah will give you. Allah will give you pahala. Or it's a day, it's an off day anyways. So you can stay home. Read for an Sheikh, what's the best deed we can do now, like today? Read for Adam. Like this class is the best class of the year. Pahala. Allah will give your parents so much pahala because they brought him. So much. Because it happened in the 10 days. Sheikh, if when I go out, I I give some money to Olaf Fakir. Oh, very good. If I share my food, iftar, if I'm fasting, or not iftar even, tetari, I pay someone tetari. Wow, very good. So do as much good as you can. As much good as you can. Allah is so happy in this day because people are coming to worship Him. Because shaitan will get so angry in this day. No matter what He did to the children of Adam, Still many of them remembering Allah and coming to remove their dosa, dosa. Huh? Remember that, inshallah. By the dawn and the 10 days. The ulama said, these are the 10 days of Dhul-Hijjah. وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ وَالْنَيْنِ إِذَا يَسْرِ Allah swears by also the old and the even. What do we do after Arafah? What's the best thing we do? Okay, for those who are not in Hajj. Fasting this day is very important. Children, look at me. Fasting the night, which will be this year, 14, 14, after Hijrah. This is our year. Christians have 2019, right? 2019 AC. What does it mean AC? Who knows? After Christ. After the birth of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam was born 2019 years ago. Here, after Hijrah. After Hijrah. Any age. 1400 years and 40 years again, uh, ago, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam left Mecca to Medina. He changed residence. And that's the biggest event in his life. Not his birth, not his death. We don't follow the birth of the Prophet, nor his death. We celebrate his death. Are you happy for his death? And his birth, we are not even sure. Because the calendar was much more later than his birth. Anyway. Children, look at me. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. This day, don't miss it. Pass it. Now, there is another thing for us, those who are not in Hajj. Allah give us chance. Since you are not in Hajj, I want to give you the reward of those who are in Hajj. Pass with them, as if you did Hajj with them. And on the 10th, what is this day? The day of Eid. What do we do on that day? Very good. Slaughter. I like that. <laughs> Who said that? Me. Very good. <laughs> we slaughter. Slaughter what? Wow. Chicken? Wow. Chicken. Just chicken. Chicken. <laughs> we like chicken. In my we like chicken tikka. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, chef. We like white meat. Chicken. Chef, I, 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 will, I will slaughter a rooster. Big rooster. Huh? Yes, come on, we can slaughter. 
Of course. So, these are the animals we slaughter. It's not up to you. So, animals we slaughter are camels, males, only males. We don't kill females. Very wrong here, they kill the cow. Bulls. Bulls are males. Sheep. Males. The lucky, Saja. From one, Pabole. And goats. That's all. Four animals. Only four animals. And what's it? No, cow wrong. If your family are going to kill cow, tell them this is wrong. Sheikh Zubir told us. No problem. Create more problems for me. I already have. <laughs> Takbir. <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, don't kill the female in Eid. Because you don't know she might be pregnant. And it's haram to kill pregnant animal. Seven families can share camel. And seven families can share bull. Shay, I want to kill bull by myself. I want to buy for Allah. No problem, you can. Shay, I want to buy the camel. Allah gave me money, I want to do one on me and my family. Can. But can seven families, like seven now families, come together and share one? Yes, can. So seven households. Seven households. Near not. One household per one. One family, one family. Sheikh, me, me, my wife, and children, family, if they are small, if your son is married, sister, he's not family now. He has to do his own, because he's married. Yeah? Slaughtering is the best amal Allah wants us to do. In all this, 10 days, the best thing we do is on this day. What is it? Sadaqa? No. Prayer? No. Uh, visiting? Silatul Rahim? No. What is it? Which parents must do? It's your duty, parents, fathers especially. It's your duty, not that. Where in the Quran? Yeah, where? Whoever answers will get this gift. No, raise hand. In the Quran, Allah mentions for man. I knew it. Yalla. Just, okay, if, even if you don't know the ayah, just tell me which surah or which story. Let's see, let's see. How about you? Yes? Al Baqarah. Al Baqarah. Not yet. <laughs> he thought he got it. Okay. Which surah, which surah Allah says clearly you should slaughter? Yes. Al An'am. What did Allah say in Al An'am? You should slaughter the bull. He's looking at this and saying, You should slaughter the bull. You sabar like a. Yes, Muhammad. You have? Okay, go ahead. Can I ask you something? Ask. Do I imagine Allah that thing? He's asking me the same question. Yes. Do uh, you, you use reverse psychology? Do you know what Allah is saying? Yeah, I'm asking you, Muhammad. I am Sheikh Zubair, not you. <laughs> okay, yalla. Yes. Surah Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Excellent. Excellent. You still wait. <laughs> yalla. Muhammad? Yes. Which surah? Al-Hajj. 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 But I didn't allow you to speak. <laughs> you were in hurry, in temptation. Huh? Like, like when you see the food and someone say don't touch and you go and touch. Okay. In Surah Al-Hajj. Al-Hajj. 
In Surah Al-Hajj, Allah mentions Qurban. Good. Another Surah in front of you. You read it almost every day. Allah Akbar. Yes. Al-Fatiha. Very good. We need every day, but that's not the one. Fatiha, <laughs> we need every day. You see, now they really want to get Yes. Al-Kawthar. Read it for us. <laughs> Read Al-Kawthar. <laughs> Read. Ya Very good. Look, look now. Show, show Surah Allah for you. Don't ask. Inna a'atayna kal kawthar. Indeed, we have given you the kawthar, O Muhammad. We gave you al kawthar. What is al kawthar? I explained to you this. Lake of milk, whiter than the milk, sweeter than honey. Shh. In Jannah, there is one thing only Prophet Hamzah has given. No other prophet, no other human. What is it? A lake, a huge lake, full of milk. That milk is sweeter than honey. It's called kawthar. Allah says, oh Muhammad, we have given you a kawthar. Special only for you. Fasalli, therefore do salat li rabbika, for your Lord, one half, and go kill. Nahar is unique, usually for camel. Go and slaughter camels. Uh, the Prophet is commanded to slaughter, and some men never slaughter even chicken. Not good. So we need to learn, huh? All of you start learning. It's time. Very good. You got it right. And you got it right. Surah Al Hajj and Surah Al Kawthar. In Surah Al An'am, yes, Allah mentioned the cattle. And also in Surah, what did he mention? Which Surah he mentioned? Al Baqarah. Allah also mentioned Baqarah to the Jews. To slaughter, to slaughter a sheep. Wow, man, cool. <laughs> he answered. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Shay, Shay, that's a girl's color. Girl's color. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> Take. Take. Catch, man. Catch faster, man. Oh. <laughs> Yalla, nice. Here's one. Okay. Salat al Eid al Adha. After Salat, if any Muslims go and slaughter his animal before Salat, it's not Udhiya. It's just regular slaughtering. So timing is very important. Can we can we pray Dohar before Dohar time? Can I do Dohar and go? No. I have to wait for Adhan. When the Dohar comes, I pray. Then I go. Can I fast Ramadan before Ramadan? I want to fast few days before Ramadan, take them off the calendar. No. In Islam, we have to wait until time comes. Children, timing is very important. Same thing. No man can take his knife and go slaughter his camel or his bull or his sheep or his goat before Doha. That's why it's called Salat al Eid. After Salat, we do. The best time is from Doha until Asr. Any time. And the best time, early morning. After Salat, we finish. You take your knives and you go straight to the farm. Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. And you go. Or in the masjid, if they bring you your animals in the masjid and you start. Now, what did Rasulullah say? Why is that slaughtering is so dear to Allah? Number one, Allah says, do it. <coughs> Kill them. These animals, if they die, Without the, the soul is like waste. Allah created them to die that way. Otherwise, they don't fulfill the reason of their creation. 
these animals, Allah created them for us to use their meat, their milk, their uh, skin, and their hair. Sheikh, how important, how important when I slaughter? The Prophet said, the bigger the sheep is, the sheep, or the goat, or the camel, or the bull, the more pahala you have your Qiyamah because the hair, one hair, just the hair. Have you seen the hair? If one hair falls on you, you don't even feel it. That hair will, will weigh mountain of good deeds on the day of judgment. One hair, let alone millions of hair. Their hoofs, their horns, their bones, their skin, we weigh heavy in the scale of Allah Yawm al Because it's a sacrifice, you did it for his sake. Ya, I love you so much, I do this. Because who was supposed to be slaughtered instead of the, these four animals? Ismail alayhi salam. Now, have you seen? Allah is telling you just slaughter one of these and you are hesitant. Should I go or not? Should I buy or not? Should I do this or not? We are not used to do this. You are not used. You are not used to fly, but you started flying. Were you, uh, were you born flying? No. <laughs> when your mother gave you birth, you start flying? But one day, it was your first time getting into the plane. Takut. Same thing. Were you born driving, brothers? First time you came out from your mother's womb, mashallah, you start driving a BMW. <laughs> You started learning. Children, we all have what we call first time. First time in my life, I slaughter. I was tackled. Later on, I became like professional. Practice makes? Perfect. Very good. So parents, this is uh, to you, many fathers. Bismillah, Allah Akbar, you can't. Mother, support and go and say, don't, ooh, I'm so scared. <laughs> you are not scared of eating steak. <laughs> you are never scared eating steak. When you see meat, your hands start pumping. Takbir. Allah Sallallahu says, with the first drop of blood coming out from your animal sacrifice, Allah will forgive all your sins. All your sins forgive. You. Don't look here so that you don't forget the answer. Saturday the night. And uh, what uh, second part of the question? You are not listening. I said, which day, if you fast, shh, 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 him, him, he give him time. <laughs> one year passed, one year took up. And then there is another day, one year passed. Which day is that? Two days. Hari, one you said, and the other Hari is what? On the next day. Huh? <laughs> Sunday. On Sunday. Is that correct? Who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Yes. Not for this one. For something else. Yalla. Try. Yes. The day of Arafah and tenth of Muharram. What is that day called? Tenth of Muharram. Correct, but it has a name. Ah, very good. That beer. You share with your sister because she gave you half the answer. I saw that. That beer. Yalla, now. Oh, three. Still, look. Very nice. I can answer. Yalla. Alright. Which surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Belum question. I need to stand him already. I didn't even say. Wait. Wait. Sabar. 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 Yeah, Muhammad, wait, but you have to know what question is. Nice watch, man. Whoa, cool. That's a nice watch. 
Try, try, try. Last two, last three questions. Last three questions. By who? Ali. By Sayyidina Ali. Then your son will get a gift. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Last two. <laughs> See, mother still good. Answer for her son. Like this. Ah. Yalla. Last two. Oh. This may be girls. This boy. No. But wait for the answer question. Hard, very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Very Read the whole Quran. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yalla, yalla. You can get two of this. Huh? Give to your brother. Yalla. Try to answer. What are the pillars of Islam and the pillars of Iman? Pillars of Islam and pillars of Iman. Easy. Yalla, it's fine. I'll give you a chance. Huh? That's him? He's still talking. Salah? Uh huh. Uh huh. Fas. Ramadan. Rama. Very good. Five. Good. These are five pillars of Islam. Now, Iman. Oh, very good. What? Uh huh. Oh, you. Uh huh. Shh. Destiny. Good. And be before that, believe in. Hari. Hari Kia. Very good, Doctor. Mashallah. Very good. Well done. Well done. Mashallah. Hey! Okay, very good. How's it going? World champion. Don't cry. Alas, you started touching his. Put it back. Put it back. After we finish. Everybody, look now. True story about ethics. You make ethics to be good, moral, akhlaq. You say akhlaq in Malay? Yes. You know yes. True story. This Egyptian champion, he is judo champion. True story. He is Muslim. His name is Muhammad. But I forgot his last name, Ashrawi. World champion, he, he won Egypt uh, championship. Children, listen. And then he won Africa, the champion of Africa, 
that he won for the World Championship Olympics. Olympics, if you win. So he beat everybody at the end final between him and Japanese. The Japanese was the world champion already. But this young man wanted really to be the world champion. As he was sparring with his uh, counter Japanese, the Japanese was in pain. His left knee was really busted, bad. So the, the, the coach of the Egyptian said, hit him, hit him to the left. Somehow hit him. So he, he beat more in pain, he cannot win. And the video of that discussion was already there. He said, hit him, hit him. He refused. So at the end, who won? The Japanese won. So he was second. He got silver. The Japanese got gold. When asked during the media, he met with the media, they said, we heard your uh, coach telling you hit him, hit him to the left knee. Why you refuse? He said, my religion, I'm a Muslim, my religion does not teach me that. For winning something, it's haram for me to hit my opponents where it hurts. I know he has a problem and I cannot do that. My religion, my parents taught me uh, and my religion taught me not to do that. But you would have won. You know, the Japanese would have done. He said, yes, I know. But I'm not. I'm a Muslim. You know what happened? He became more famous because of that than the gold. Japan called him. The emperor gave him a special prize. And he got married to a very beautiful Japanese world champion also like him. And they have children who look Egyptian Japanese in in Japan. Uh, in the uh, uh, Egypt, and he is now world trainer. So the point is, you may lose something, like you said, okay, I don't take this, I give to my brother or my sister, but alhamdulillah for people who has, who is big? Who's big? You. That's why sometimes you let go. In dunya, you let go. But akhirah, Allah will love you. In dunya and akhirah, always have the weak doesn't mean I have to score. Let's say I'm about to score the goal, and I know you will, will feel so sad if I if I score. So I pretend it goes somewhere else. To make you happy, oh, oh you lost the okay. game. You idiot, I have in you, you don't understand. Okay. But don't tell him. Okay? So sometimes, brothers, let your wives have the last word, no problem. Make them happy. Not like hey. Rasulullah Sallallahu did this. Look, the Prophet one day, imagine the Prophet running. Imagine. Who? If you see Shah Zubair running, you say, who? What's that? And with who? With Aisha, his wife. Radiallahu anha. And not running, jogging, racing. So she won the first. The second one he won. He told her, Aisha, I let you win just to make you happy. The Prophet is strong. He has 40 men inside him. The power of 40 men. You think Shaykh Zubair? That bear? 40 men inside you, do you know how strong you are? So he let her win to make her happy. Sometimes you do that, brothers, eh? Sometimes you let your brother, it's okay, he's my brother. Sometimes you're on him when he's naughty. Takbir! Oh, How are you? 